a climbing rose up for you next that is just behind me. This is Woolerton Old Hall. Not Old Woolerton Hall, but Woolerton Old Hall. Bred by David Austin Roses and introduced in 2011 and named after the world famous gardens at Woolerton Old Hall, which is a 16th century manor house. In several of my videos, you've heard me talking about this radiation or this radiant light and colour that comes from some of these David Austin roses. I've talked about it when we're talking about the Lark Ascending, uh, Royal Jubilee, and of course, Scarborough Fair and Buttercup, all of which have very similar shaped blooms to the rose just to my left and have this wonderful yellowing to the inside of the cut petals, which means the actual colour completely radiates out of them and makes them glow. The colour on Woolerton Old Hall is very difficult to describe. It's described from David Austin Roses as a light apricot. For me it's really a very very light coffee cream colour. Uh, the colour of a walnut whip or a, a chocolate and hazelnut cake. Uh, a really really very very pleasant colour and for a climbing rose a very very different shaped flower. This enormous very very deep chaliced shaped flower. I say that you also see if you are familiar with Jude the Obscure. This is a repeat flowering climber reaching around 12 feet in height. So if you're living in a normal size domestic one up, one down sort of two story home, this is a perfect rose for you for growing up the side of a house. Uh, if you have um, and you want to put it up a fence, three or four fence panels will be more than enough for Woolerton Old Hall to manoeuvre about. I will give you a little bit of warning. This rose is really slow to establish. I'm not sure why, but this one is in its second year. And as you can see, really only reaching around four feet high so far. The one uh, I look after for my client over at Vineyard's house, my English walled garden, is a three or four year old specimen and is really only reaching around eight feet this year and only really starting to come into its stride. But Woolerton Old Hall is a manageable size climbing rose for most domestic gardens. I say reaching around 12 feet, repeat flowering. This is gonna flower on and off all the way through the summer, which is really very pleasant. Right, let's get to the actual flower itself because it, as I say, it is really, really very beautiful. I'm gonna cut the bloom so I can get it nice and close to you. As I say, David Austin are describing this as a light apricot, but I'm really saying that this is very, very much more of a heavy coffee cream colour and it bleaches out to a very, very white cream as it aged. That beautiful, deep, chaliced shape to the bloom, which means, as I say, like uh, the likes of Royal Jubilee, Scarborough Fair, the Lark Ascending uh, and even uh, other ones who else looks like this? Oh, and the Wedgwood Rose, where those petals really come right around in that chalice shape. A really, really very attractive flower. There aren't many climbers on the market with a bloom this size reaching. I say, if I put that into my hand, you can see that particular flower is already sort of three inches across and it's not completely blown out and in flower just yet. On the back side of the petals, a bit of a yellow streak. And on the buds, this pink streak is what you see on the bud just behind me. So sort of orangey yellow with that red streak right up the side. Very, very distinctive and really very pleasant. And you can see this one here, rich, literally radiating that beautiful sort of peachy cream from the actual flower. Very, very heavily cupped, very, very pretty. The flowers tend to nod ever so slightly, obviously, because they're heavy in the wind. So a really, really lovely rose, especially when it is up high and you can actually look up at it uh, and enjoy its, uh, its actual shape and its colour. Very, very pretty, very romantic, a fantastic climber. In the centre of the flower, we're just going to part this if you can, uh, without completely damaging it. As you say, inside that bloom there, that wonderful yellowing to those inside of the petals, which means the colour simply radiates out of the flower itself. Now, biggest plus point on Woolerton Old Hall is it's very, very disease resistant. It's shown no signs whatsoever of succumbing to black spot, powdery mildew or aphid attack. Uh, it um, fray flowers all the way through the summer. So here we are in mid-June, it's just starting to flower now. And there'll be a smattering of blooms all the way through the season now until the back end of the year. 
huge huge plus point not only is it absolutely stunning it's so pretty so romantic all of those things that you really want in a beautiful rose but the fragrance on this one as a climbing rose is really really good now for those of you that have been following a while and have watched lots of my videos you know there's another rose which i've already mentioned in this video buttercup which has a very very distinctive smell and Woolerton Old Hall is picking up on all of those tones that Buttercup has. I'm talking about honey, talking about honeycomb. Now, if you're a beekeeper like myself, you'll know exactly what that smells like. And, and it's very strange to say, it smells of flowers. Pollen, it's sweet, and there's a heavy, heavy sort of mirth and sandalwood to the actual flower, uh, to the scent itself. So. So I say, to recap, you're talking about beeswax and pollen, sandalwood and mirth. It really, really is very pleasant. Now, it's a quite a cool evening here at North Lodge on the south coast of England. It's only around 12 or 14 degrees and the scent on this particular bloom is really, really quite lovely. So growing up a wall on a house or on a fence, you really want to get you want to get really close up to this and enjoy its fragrance i say and uh, and enjoy those blooms nodding down and see if you can get right up close to them woolerton old hall from david austin roses bred and introduced in 2011 reaching around 12 feet a repeat flowering climber which is really manageable for most domestic gardens this is a stunning and beautiful rose that if you have the space you should really look out for